Hey, what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. On Friday, we celebrated the 100th episode of the series and I won $75,000, which is pretty good. And that brought my overall total to $4,799,426. So let's see what happens today. I am very, very excited. It's a brand new week new opportunities to win a million dollars so let's make it happen here we go first question for the usual 100 dollars where would you normally see a treadmill um in a casino obviously in a library yeah i'm pretty sure you would not see a treadmill in a library probably a better chance you see one in a casino to be quite honest all right there we go 100 dollars. boom now i should be hitting the 4.8 million dollar mark in today's episode unless i Unless I get any of the next four questions wrong. Uh, which initials introduced an addition to a letter after the signature? Uh, AM, obviously. Would you like AM or FUM? One of my favorite scenes in like in any episode of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Or actually, and the sequel, to be quite honest. Out of those two series, I think that actually might be my favorite part of any episode. I'm not even joking. That was so funny. Anyways, $200. Next question is for 300 what are traditionally eaten on Shrove Tuesday? Uh, that would be pancakes. I love pancakes. Okay, there we go. Got $300, we're now going for 500. Okay, which of these European countries is part of Scandinavia? Um, That would be Denmark, C. Boom, okay. 500 and now we're going for 1,000. Alrighty. The name of which creature comes from the word meaning terrible lizard? That would be dinosaur, C. There we go, $1,000. And just like that, my overall total has now already hit $4.8 million. And the game's not even over yet. <laughs> All right, I'm really looking forward to hitting the, the $5 million mark. I was really hoping to do that on Friday, you know, um, in the 100th episode, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Okay, but $2,000. Which dinosaur had two horns over its eyes and one horn? Oh, it's, 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 it's Triceratops. It has to be. I mean, I don't know this for sure, but try. I mean, the th three horns, right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be Triceratops. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say. I mean, I didn't know that for sure, but I mean, with three horns and with a name like Triceratops, it's gotta be that, you know? On Friday, I got the first 10 questions right with these in the lifelines. I'm pretty sure that's the fourth time it's happened in the series, but I've never, ever... Um, gotten the very next one right without using a lifeline. I've never, I've never gotten um, 11 questions correct in a row without using a lifeline in this series. I would like for that to happen. Benjamin Franklin was alive in the 18th century, I'm pretty sure. Yes! Alrighty. Not bad. We got $4,000. Okay. Let's go for 8,000 now. Okay. So I got all three lifelines. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Um, who stars TV's Xena? Oh, goodness. Ah, oh, man. TV's Xena Warrior. I think it's Lucy Lawless. But I also think it's Lisa Leslie. I'm gonna 50 50 this. I think it's Lucy Lawless. Okay, it's gotta be Lucy Lawless. It has to be. That's what I thought it was. Yes, okay. So, you know what? I didn't actually have to do that. I didn't have to use the 50 50, but you know what? I just wanted to be safe. That's not a question I see very often. I thought that was the right answer, but you know what? That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, we got $8,000. The next question is for 16000 And yes, in case anybody was wondering, I am going to be permanently switching versions soon. I just don't know exactly when. Have an idea. Um, which is not part of Latin America? I think it's D. Heck, I'm just going to go with D. Yeah, all right. So I, yeah. You know, it's just one of those one of those moments where I was like, darn it, I shouldn't have used that. I shouldn't have used that life on the $8,000. I don't know. You know what? I guess I can't kick myself for it, but... If I end up getting the next two right, then I'll then I'll definitely kick myself for that because that means I would have beaten my record 
in terms of going the longest about oh not technically actually i might have gone longer than that just not from the beginning i'm probably not making any sense right now um an ace is a pilot who has shot down at least how many enemy air i have no idea i think it's either 10 or 12 I'm gonna play this safe because I really, really, really want to get this right because it's thirty-two thousand. So I'm actually gonna use the better lifeline, which might not be, which might not be the smartest choice in the world. See, you know, uh, see, that's what I mean. You know what? Should I just go with C? C had the second most. I feel like that's usually what they do. No way, it's not three. I don't think it's three. Okay, you know what? Screw it then. I guess I'm gonna have to just phone a friend as well. Man, oh man, the audience has been really useless lately. They were useless on Friday, too. Okay. What do you have to say, phone a friend? Five? That's what the majority of the audience says. All right. I didn't think it was five. Okay, wow. So I didn't actually have to use the, um, the, the phone a friend because the audience was right. But they weren't right but very much. I didn't really trust them. You know what? Who cares? I got 32,000. That's all I care about. That's guaranteed. Okay, perfect. We are now going for 64. All right, five away from the million dollars. Um, <sighs> Which year did Yuri Gagarin become the first man to travel in space? I don't know, I'm gonna guess. It might be 1960, but I don't know why I feel... Or it could be 62. Oh, it is 61! Holy crap, I did not think that... Wow, okay, I really had no clue. That was insane. Okay, guys, we got $64,000. Whew! Alright, so let's go for 125. We're now four away from the million. Alright, for $125,000. Um... The Forester is a species of a kangaroo. I am like 90% sure on that because I've had this before. Actually, it might, not, it, it might be Wombat, actually. Oh, no, it is kangaroo. Okay, nice. <laughs> After I, I clicked Final Answer, I was like, oh, shoot, I actually might be second-guessing myself. But all right, that's awesome. 125, okay. This is actually great. We're now three away from the million dollars. Man, can I go all the way up? That'd be basically, a, I'd be basically pulling a Joe, a Joe Trela. That'd be crazy. All right. For $250,000. What is another name sometimes given to... So, guys, I know this one too, if you can believe it. We had this in episode 50, I think. It's Mazdaism, right? Because that was the only... Because I was... In episode 50, I was with my brother and my dad. And all three of us thought that that, that was just a made-up thing. But that turned out to be the right answer. So we're going to go with that. Mazdaism, final answer. Yes! Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And now, if I walk in the next one, I potentially, I think if I walk in the next one, I will hit the $5 million mark, which is crazy. Okay, guys, this is crazy. I did not think this was going to happen. We got a quarter of a million. We're now going for a half million, two questions away from the million dollars. Wow, this is actually insane. I'm not going to lie. Okay, for $500,000... The news agency Reuters was founded in 1851 in which city? Berlin, London, Amsterdam, Rome. Okay. Here's where I'm at. All right. I got the $500,000 question wrong yesterday. Or not yesterday. What am I talking about? There was... <laughs> sorry. I've, I'm not actually recording. I'm not actually recording this episode on a Monday. So that's why I, that's why I kind of got confused. Um, I got the $500,000 question wrong on Friday. All right. I didn't lose as much as I would if I got this one wrong, okay? Because my guarantee level right now is 32000 On Friday, it was 75000 So I wouldn't be losing as much. But I did get the $500,000 question wrong on Friday. I had a quarter of a million. I, did, I, I really wanted to try to hit $5 million on, on episode 100, so that's why I went for it. And it costed me. This time, I'm actually going for a half million dollars in-game, okay? And I'm not going to go for it because I don't know the answer to this. I think it might be Amsterdam, but it it could be any of them. I really have no idea. I have no idea. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to walk away. Okay, so I am going to walk away because I just don't, you know, that would be, um, that would be $218,000 and I just don't really want to risk that. 
So, yeah, we're going to walk away with 250000 Guys, I'm really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. And with that, I have now hit the $5 million mark. One episode after the episode, I would have liked to have done that, but that's fine. My overall total is now $5,049,426. So, yeah, that's actually that's actually awesome. I, I've hit $5 million um, after 101 episodes. I'm really, really happy about that. Now, let's find out what the correct answer was to that question. All right, so the correct answer to that question was London. That probably would have been my last choice, to be quite honest. I think I was going to go with Amsterdam, if I had to guess. Uh, and then Berlin probably would have been my second guess. And then I think Rome would have been number three. So, yeah, I think London would have been my would have been my last choice. So, I definitely made the right, the right call, guys. Um, that was definitely a really good game, okay? After, you know, especially after my... 100th episode, you know what I mean? That was really, really good. My, like I said, my overall total is $5,049,426. That's awesome. I hit the $5 million mark. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. That's a great start to a new week. Tomorrow is my brother's birthday, so he is going to be joining me tomorrow, and hopefully we can win a million dollars. I will see you all then. Adios!